Well, cutting and threading, such as it is, I'll just explain how I do it as not to mar a bow stem. Is I take my two fixtures that I had the clamp set up, put it on the valve. I will mark this valve as to length. Put a put a little dial on the other where you think it's going to be at. And that measurement was five and uh, five and five sixty two. Put that on your valve. Oh, I missed that. Way down here. The the valve length. will be right there. Y'all see that mark on there? I'm going to cut that off right there. And the other one, uh, same way. Just use, use your caliper as a scribe. Right there is my line. I'll just cut that off and thread it. And be, be it, it's just threading and cutting and threaded. Uh, I, we're going to get on past that. We're going to get that done. But that's what I'll do. Just kind of get it up there close. Saw that off. And... Um, thread it and and I you know I think I'm just gonna well well let's get that done put your little thread cutting oil on there get that die die stock out tighten up your vise using the uh, jaw part down there that we made and just go gently thread this to a one inch length And th there is no reason to not thread these in the lathe, pre-cutting the stems to length. Just so happened I did not do that this time, but uh, it's perfectly acceptable. Let's just see how how uh, it put a little bit of that. We don't want to have a bad thread at this point. I believe we got it. That's gonna be enough right there. Yeah, that's enough. That looks that's I believe that's okay. Put that there. Lube on there. Back her off. I am going to probably ought to probably ought to get started on it. These cadmium plated nuts and bolts that are so popular today. You know, just let me make a statement now. On these old engines, you probably shouldn't be using them cadmium plated bolts. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Oh, we are right there. Let's get on to that other. All right. I have just finished drilling the hole, the cross pin, and cleaned it up there with the round file, one eighth of an inch. The pin, the keeper goes on here. Actually, the the spring goes on here. The cast iron keeper goes on. The pin cross pin would go in there that would come up there like that and um, and that's what holds it in there your rocker arm works on this part right here the um, and and that's the, the assembly of that the valves I think uh, turned out okay and this is this is uh, this is nothing but normal machine shop project there, there's nothing exotic about this and I did uh, uh, I got three 
ended up with three exhaust and I only built two intakes because I had a real good intake that I had taken out of another engine so I decided to use it and I just wanted I built it enough for three heads we're going to rebuild a head valve guides then and I'm going to do three of them at one time the and, and I was just just uh, kind of a little tidbit of history <laughs> some exhaust valve springs that I had in the box over there and when I was hunting a spring I just kind of lined them up there and put the ruler on them there kind of measured them up and from the tallest one to the shortest one over here it's more than a half of an inch so you know if you've got the engine that's got this one on it and you've got the engine that's got that one on it uh, you know, and and these were all the same from the factory. There, there was, there should have all be exactly. It's just, uh, you know, something to think about. I did go ahead and uh, uh, thread the end, drilled a cross hole, and when you get all of that put together, this is the way that looks. A uh, cotter, the the lock nut, and the uh, adjusting nut with the flange on it for the spring, and that's the way that looks. We, that one's ready to go. Uh, three of those. And while I was over there at the lathe, I went on ahead and, and turned out a cup, a handful of these things right here. And that's the keeper there for the. Uh, you know, if you didn't have one, if you didn't have one of these keepers right here, then you could turn that, put that on there put that in there and put that up right there it ain't like I didn't have nothing to do I just decided to go ahead and make a few of them uh, and, and, and that is this it's a copy of this thing these are cast iron from the factory Dave I'm just I did this here just as a show and tell you know it can be done intake springs the same thing there is is from the tallest ones to the shortest one I didn't get them all out but there's a half inch uh, from them in intake the very early model M's type M's one and a half horsepower had two valves of the same type would have been like this right here the intake and exhaust were the same on the very early ones this uh, this uh, this type end right here, that would have been a very early type one of these things. And that goes on, on there, and then the nut goes there. This would have been a very early type keeper. The, the two uh, examples there and there is another one I, I just you know I just didn't dig it out but there's three different types shapes of this one and there is um, this one and this one of that one hey, you know that's just a wind up on the um, on building a valve uh, there's just nothing more than I can't say no more about it. Uh, the, the the next procedure I will give you a little, uh, you know, uh, advance warning. Um, I will put this in at some point in time. We'll go through that. I'll put this in the valve grinding machine over there, and and actually we'll just face this just a the minimal the least amount of cleanup that I can do on there and put the factory finish on there that's the only reason that's for and and, and this right these would be okay to use now it's perfectly good to go here just just doing it in the lathe it just so happened that the machine sitting on the sideboard over there so I am going to use it and I'm not going to use cast iron guides I don't think I'm going to use the bronze guides so and I'm going to call this a finish to this uh, valve building series